Welcome back to Plutus Knowledge. In this video, I will show you my Qcoin earnings after eight months. Um, as you can see here, my total earnings are 126 US dollars in USDT. Um, I started lending out approximately 800 US dollars, 1000. I never really um, landed out 100% of my cash reserves. Um, later, I will show you why. But um, as of this moment, I um, earned approximately 126. Okay, um, let's go to the lend section. Um, I used to lend out USDT. Now I'm taking a little break. Um, as you can see here, you can lend out for 7, 14, or 28 days. Um, that means if, for example, I will if I want to lend out for seven days, that means that my money is stuck for a maximum of seven days. And um, after seven end, the person that's um, lending my, is borrowing my funds and can of course pay that earlier than seven days. For example, you can just borrow for one hour and pay me back. Um, so what did, did I do? I used the auto lend function here and I, for example, if I had $1,000, I always wanted to have, for example, $200 reserve. And um, I chose a daily rate of approximately 10%. Where's the 10%? Yeah, 0 0.028. You can just press here. And I would just hit auto enable and just hit confirm. And then my auto lending button would be turned on. And I just land out for 7, 14, or 28 days. Um, of course, I can just only select the seven days. So just yeah, like this, and then I would hit confirm that it only lent out for seven days. And this way it would automatically lend out all my funds. Um, you can, of course, find the settled amounts. So the last time I would pay back was in um, 18 of December. Oh, sorry, 20, yeah, to 18 of December, yes. As you can see here, and I started. Um, at 10 of April, so approximately eight months. And here you can find all your transactions and the uh, amount that I earned per day, the daily interest rate. Of course, these rates are not, these, these are the daily rates that you receive, and this one is the yearly calculated. Um, yeah, so that is the proof. Now let's talk about what are the risks because I saw a lot of comments of people that were um, concerned about what are the risk of lending out. So let's take a look at that. So what are the lending risks? The first is very obvious. Um, Q can get can get hacked, of course, but yeah, if you have um, if you have some trust in the in the IT section of QCoin, they have they have a pretty good um, track record. Personally, I, I find that they have a very pretty good track record of not getting hacked, or if they get hacked, that they refund their customers, etc. But every exchange has this risk. Um, the second risk is when you lend out crypto, any crypto. Um, yeah, I forgot to show that. Let's go back here. Um, you can also, for example, choose to lend out Bitcoin. Um, and um, of course, this can be very risky, just lending out other cryptos, like Litecoin, Bitcoin, etc. But I, I used to lend out a stable coin. Why? Because the yeah, because the price remains stable. If you lend out a crypto, let's let's say Bitcoin. Um, let's say Bitcoin rises fifty percent. You cannot sell your Bitcoin because you cannot claim that amount immediately you need to wait for example 7 14 or 28 days maximum of course you can get lucky and the borrower can pay, can you pay back you earlier but yeah um so you lend out to margin traders and of course one of the risks is that the crypto can dump in price and that means you cannot sell instantly you can get paid back instantly if the margin trader they don't have enough collateral to to cover their position then they get liquidated and you get 
can pay it back but sometimes the price of the crypto can dump so far instantly that in extreme condition and yeah that the collateral of them cannot cover their uh, pr their principal amount so um qcoin has an insurance fund um, i'll leave a link in the description below and this insurance fund is used to cover all excess losses and in some cases this cannot be enough in let's say in extreme conditions if the if the coin dumps 99 percent because um, we all know this is very unlikely to happen with, with for example bitcoin but you need to be aware of these risks um yeah so this is the video um yeah if you have any questions please leave a comment and have a nice day